We use it in a bunch of different delivery methods to get different effects out of it. I'm using it most commonly right now dosed orally in a pill form because I, on top of loving peptides, I also love gut health. And this is amazing for gut health. This stimulates all kinds of healing for anything going on in the gut. So yeah. this is great for people who have, you know, they've had colonoscopies and been told they have inflammation or colitis. Somebody who's gotten the diagnosis of IBD, IBS, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, somebody who just has ulcers, anything like that. BPC-157 can be amazing for it. So it goes in and stimulates all the endothelial cells lining the intestines. It stimulates regrowth. So is that something you take weekly, the oral form, or is it monthly? Daily. D daily. Okay. Now, there's other ways to deliver BPC-157. There is. They okay. call it the Wolverine drug, which I love, because it can heal. It heals everything. So taken in an intramuscular or subcutaneous injection, BPC-157 can heal muscles, tendons, ligaments. Okay. So I've literally seen people be able to avoid surgeries like, say, you tear your rotator cuff. Take this as an injection for a couple of months, and you can avoid having to have surgery because you stimulate the body to naturally naturally heal that. Are you injecting it directly into the mm -mm. injured spot? No. All in the stomach. You can go into the stomach. Wow. If it's a shoulder, like I'd probably do the shot close to the shoulder. You're not injecting into the joint, though. It's a once daily injection that the patients do themselves at home. And I'm assuming the compound just goes straight to the injured spot. It kind of mm -hmm. knows where to roll. Knows, knows what it needs to hit. That is super interesting. So you can actually even take it in an intranasal, like a, a nose spray, okay. and it can go to the brain and help regenerate neurons. So they're using it for traumatic brain injuries. They're researching it in Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, is that something you stay on for a long time? It really depends the effect that we're getting out of it. It doesn't hurt to be on it for a long time. For patients that I'm seeing the issues that are coming back on a GI map, I tell them I want them on it at least two to three months. That starts to see your full effectiveness. If at that point they're like, yeah, I think I'm good. Like I want to come off of it for a little while. We try and see. But it's something I have some patients that stay on it for a year or longer because they, they love it and they're feeling good on it.